Representing the sleaze balls, baby. All right, guys. So today I'm here to talk about the five levels of choosing signals. All right. And to me, this is important because you want, I, I want to gauge how long it's going to take me to get the ass. All right. In other words, I don't want to be going, if, if, if I see a girl as a seven, all right, unless this bitch is showing me crazy high interest, I don't want to pursue her. All right. So, because she's a fucking seven. Bitch, I'm not taking you on three fucking dates. You're a seven. All right. To me, in my eyes. All right. Now, I told you guys, I really ain't got time to date a woman that's below an eight to me right now. Probably an eight and a half, but let's just say an eight. But if a seven is throwing me crazy high interest, all right, say a level 10 interest, maybe I can slide her in on a Thursday night. You know, for a quick fuck. All right, you know, I ain't got time to dine, wine, and you know, you know, I don't do the wine and dining, but take a girl that's a seven out for three fucking days to get the ass. All right, I'll do that for a woman I see as a nine or a ten. All right, to get her interest level there, she worth it. I buy her a couple of drinks. I ain't buying no seven, bitch. You better come on over here, meet me for this goddamn tea, and get your ass back at the crib, open them goddamn legs up. All right, we ain't finna go through this dog with pony show. Your ass a seven. All right, do I need to bring a mirror to the date? Okay, don't make me bring out a mirror. Show your ass you a seven. Now, don't get carried a fucking way. All right, so this is why I want y'all guys to gauge this, all right? Because it's important that if you look at a girl, and I know some of you guys will date a seven, you need to look and say, I'm not finna, this bitch giving me a level five interest level. Like, are you fucking crazy? I'm not finna take this bitch on three dates and bitch you showing me level five uh, low barely making a great interest level choosing signals all right so that's the thing with that guys all right so I, that's why that's important so right off the bat guys level five if she got a level five choosing signal all right right off the bat guys she'll give you a glance all right it's a glance it's not you know she not finna goddamn look at you like she uh got x-ray vision man it's a glance it's a if you standing over there she gonna do like that and she'll you know turn away or whatever all right that's the glance all right so if you get that that is that can be considered a choosing signal all right now if you standing in front of the fucking dj booth and the DJ started talking and she look over that way, the DJ started talking. She looking at the DJ. All right, guys, y'all guys got to take all this shit in perspective because I know y'all guys go to reaching and projecting and all this other bullshit looking for, I think she choosing. He said, you gave me a glance. Yeah, you in front of the DJ booth. All right, let's not get carried away. All right. So if a woman gives you a glance, that means that she probably see you as a six or a seven, whatever. That's a low interest choosing signal that's not nothing to goddamn write home to mom about until a, a woman looked in your direction all right let's not let's not get uh carried away with that guys all right next would be she give you a, a smile guys all right so when a woman looks at you it's still gonna be a glance but it'll be she'll throw in a little smile with it all right that means that she has a that's a little bit higher choosing signal so she'll look at you and might like, you might not even see the smile, all right? She might look at you and then look away and smile. And you'll see her, she'll be smiling, looking away from you, all right? That is a, a little bit, she, her interest is a little bit higher, all right? So, as these interest levels come up, guys, as these choosing signals come up, different levels of choosing signals come up, this means less dates, Beholding that you don't do nothing to fuck it up, all right? If you don't do nothing to lower it, all right? I always remember this shit when I'm taking this shit. You can always lower it, all right? Your approach can lower it. You come up and say some dumb shit, all right? Now I ain't even interested anymore. No Sometimes y'all guys, these women, I send y'all guys choosing signals, all right? And you guys will make approach, and then you wonder why you didn't get the number. Oh, it ain't had nothing to do with she was an attention whore. Yo, your approach was all fucked up and corny and all that bullshit. I, right? you ain't come up in a confident way, stumbling all over your words and shit. You ain't sound confident. Maybe you hesitated. Maybe she smiled at your ass thirty minutes ago, and now after you done got two drinks of Great Goose in you, you finally det uh, got up enough courage to come over here and make an approach. All right. So all these things, guys, can lower. Even though a woman gave you choosing signals, you waited or you came up with a corny approach. This is why I don't. I make a masculine approach or whatever. Ask the woman, would she like introduce myself and ask her what she out? 
Because, listen, coming up, doing all this and that other shit, you run the risk of talking your ass out the pussy. All right? I ain't finna come up. Now, if it's a situation I see that I can ease into it, or whatever. Let's say, uh, let's say they, uh, I'm at the club and the girls got some bottles or whatever. I say, damn, did y'all save any alcohol for me or something like that? Something that's involved in the situation, all right? So that's that I can come in smooth. It's a smooth. This is when you hear women say you're real smooth. That means that you know how to transition in smooth, all right? That it don't. It's not an awkward come in. Like you guys got to know how to make a smooth approach. It fits the situation, all right? So let's hypothesize I'm in the club and the girls are sitting down. Or whatever the case may be, I'm, I could, you could come in and say, "I haven't seen y'all girls dance all night." Something like that, just a smooth transition or something like that. That you just come in smooth and it fits the situation. All right. So for all you guys that wonder how to break the ice, look at the situation and figure out how can I come in that smoothly. All right. But you need to do it quick. You ain't got all night to sit over there and fucking plot up. You and your boys plot in a corner talking about some man. You, how we gonna go over there and make a smooth transition? Nah, you ain't got all goddamn night. You need to be quick on your feet, goddamn. Quick on your feet. All right, thank motherfucker. All right, so that's the thing with that, guys. The next level would be she'll stare and smile at you. All right, that means that now, and when I say stare, guys, it don't mean that you're gonna look back over there and 10 minutes and she's still staring at your ass like this. Hey, you ain't that goddamn fine, motherfucker. All right? That just means there's like a five-second, you know, stare or whatever the case may be. All right, guys? So, and if you guys notice, each one of these progressions, the woman is getting a little bit more and more aggressive. All right? A little bit more and more uh, aggressive. And she's not going to get so aggressive to where she's going to come up and ask you for a number unless she's very masculine. And what I mean by masculine or desperate, and what I mean by masculine, guys, is... When a woman is uh, not that attractive or overweight or something like that, they pretty much desperate and aggressive, and that's what I mean by that. It, you are not going to get too many nines and tens that are going to come up and make a full approach like that where they ask you your number. That's why I say masculine because, you know, like aggressive, like they desperate or something like that. Feminine women who got options and shit, they just, unless you fucking Leonardo DiCaprio or uh, an A-list celebrity, they just not going to do it. All right, not for a normal dude. It, just, it is what it is, guys. All right. So they, they'll be getting more and more aggressive to let you know that they're interested because they can't help because they interest level. They pussy ting when they see you and they don't, you know, they ain't going to make the approach, but they want to do everything to let you know that they're attracted to you. And if you hesitate, it, it, What's the number one thing where women find attractive? Confidence. All right. Hesitation shows no confidence. All right. So that's the thing with that guy. So each one of these is starting to get more and more aggressive. So now she'll stare and smile at you. The next one, guys, is she'll come in your vicinity. All right. That don't mean she finna come sit on your lap and rub your head. All right. That just means that she's going to put... That don't always mean she's going to come stand right fucking by you, all right? That just means that she's going to put herself in proximity of you so you can make a smooth approach, all right? She wants to, you know... She's just trying to make the approach as smooth and easy as possible, all right? So she'll just come stand by you. Maybe it's six feet apart or something like that, but she just will come in your vicinity, all right? That don't mean she's going to come bump shoulders with you at the bar, all right? That ain't what that means. When y'all guys see women come do shit like this, even if it look like they ain't paying y'all ass no attention, because... Women are coming here and you'll be, is she choosing? She's, she's in my air. Sometimes they'll be talking to their girls and this, that, and the other and playing it off and this, that, and the other. <clears throat> and she done chose you, but you think just because she ain't standing there staring at your ass like the uh, Queen of England or the fucking Statue of Liberty that she ain't interested. No, she'll be sitting there talking to her friends and shit giving you, she might even have her back turned to you or whatever the case may be. And, and then you come tap on the shoulder and she's like, oh, Bitch, you know I was standing here. All right? So, guys, don't be fooled by that. When you see women come standing in your vicinity and they be dancing with each other and, and, and they might have their back turned to you and you thinking like, man, them, they just dancing. They ain't really studying me. Oh, probably one of them is. One of them probably is. They probably won't even make eye contact with you. All right? They just will fucking come, stand, dance, this, that, other, whatever. But because y'all guys got to understand something. Women want to let you... Women want to want you to... Choose them. I mean, women send you choosing signals, but they don't want to be so blatant out with it sometimes, most times, because they still want you to feel like you have to earn them. All right. 
In other words, women still don't want to give you all that power. You know, I teach you guys don't validate women to show them your interest level and shit like this here, right here because it goes to their head and they get carried away. Well, the same thing with women. They don't want to just let you know, motherfucker, you got it like that because I ain't going to get no act right at you. All right, guys, so y'all guys must understand that that women do want to choose you guys, but they still want to conceal their interest a little bit to where you're pursuing them to where you they you feel like you still have to earn them. All right, this is one reason why women don't like making approaches and stuff like that because it still gets them in the power. So even if I come standing in your vicinity and you come touch me on the shoulder and I turn around, oh, hey, how you doing? Bitch, you know I was standing here, all right, but... You see, now she still got you pursuing, all right? So by her still got you pursuing, now you still have to ask me out, and I still have to make you feel like you winning me. I don't want you to feel like I'm trying to win you, all right, guys? So y'all guys need to understand that. That's why uh, feminine women still won't make an approach like that because they still want to feel like you pursuing me, all right, guys? So that's the thing with that. And the last one, guys, when a woman's got a, that, like the craziest high inch, like this, this is when she see you as a 10 or something like that, she'll come up and start a conversation. She ain't finna ask you out, and she ain't finna ask you for your number. She'll just come up into you and be like, some stupid like, uh, the DJ sucked tonight, or, huh? Something like that, or, or she'll just come up and tell me something, any fucking thing. Uh, it's cold out there or something. Just, stu in a, in a, just starting a fucking conversation, guys. It don't matter what it's about, all right? That's when a woman got crazy high interest in you, the highest. When she just come up to you and start making a conversation, that means absolutely nothing. She's just trying to break the ice, and hopefully you take the hint, all right? And if you don't, I'm telling you right now, watch what she'll do. She'll walk away, and that's it. All right, guys. So y'all guys need to understand that with with uh, the choosing signal, different levels of choosing signals. All right, as the higher she get, the more aggressive she gets with letting you know to choose her. And she ain't gonna get more aggressive as in asking your ass out. She just gonna get more aggressive into making you want to pursue her. All right, to let her interest. She wants you to know her interest level without letting you know her interest level. If that makes any fucking sense. All right, I hope that made some fucking sense. All right, and the next uh, one of my patient supporters wanted to know about shy women. All right, well, here's my take on shy women, guys. Shy women are like this, guys. They're either not interested, all right, and you can tell when a, a woman is not interested. Don't y'all guys got to stop projecting your interest level on women. You can tell when one's not interested, all right. She'll look at you and she'll look down or look away, all right. When a woman that is interested in you, she'll look at you and she'll look away and smile or something. You'll see a smile on her face. All right. So she'll look at you, but she'll look at you, but she still look away, but she'll smile. All right. That's when a woman's interested. A woman look at you and she'll look down like she's ready to throw up or look down like, please don't talk to me. Please don't talk to me. Guys, that's not shy. That's, that's no interest. All right, guys. So that's the thing with that, guys. Shy women send choosing signals too. All right. Please understand that. Now, the next one would be if you have a shy woman that is interested. Now, this is when if you have a woman that's on a date, all right? If you have a woman that's on a date and she's acting shy, all right? Well, what this is, guys, she, she's socially awkward. And what, and what I mean by that, guys, is this was what I was back in my teenage years, all right? When I was... Now couldn't hold a masculine frame and stuff like this. I would just be quiet so I wouldn't say nothing to put my foot in my mouth. All right, guys, because I ain't have a mask. I want. I, I haven't. I hadn't mastered the masculine frame. So to not be corny or goofy or, or whatever, say something that just totally stupid and turn the woman off. I would just be quiet because I felt like that was my best card. And usually, as I got to know the woman better and better, the real me will start to come out. So a lot of these women that y'all think are shy. They just uh, keep it quiet because they don't want to say nothing to put their foot in their mouth. These are women you date. I'm not talking about a woman that works. So these are women you date. They'll say, they don't want to say much because they don't want to put their fucking foot in their mouth. All right? So, but if you keep talking to them and you date them, you'll notice they'll start getting more and more comfortable. And as they get more and more comfortable, you're going to start seeing their true colors. All right? So this is what would happen to me back in the day when I would play shy. I wasn't shy. I just didn't want to say nothing stupid. So I just the best thing I knew to do was just play it calm and cool and just shut the fuck up. All right? And I fucked a lot of bitches off of that, guys, because I, I, I hadn't mastered 
holding the masculine frame yet. All right, I wasn't all the way mature enough to hold the masculine frame all the time. And a lot of times, women would find me attractive, but my corny and goofy, you know, immaturity, whatever you want to fucking call it, uh, non-masculine frame would turn a lot of them off. Unfortunately for me, a lot of times I hadn't got the ass by the time they had done figured out that I wasn't that cool, laid-back dude. You know what I'm saying? So. Too bad. After they don't like what I told y'all guys on the alpha male, um, the five personality traits. I don't fuck you now, so who gives a fuck you find out I'm goofy? I don't give a fuck. I don't fuck you now, so who gives a shit? That's what I'm talking about, guys. So what you see with these women a lot of times that are playing shy, if you keep dating them, you'll start they start getting more and more and more annoying. Cause then they're gonna start getting more and more comfortable. And I guarantee you, all these girls that y'all think are shy. I guarantee you a month from now that bitch be blabbing her fucking mouth. You can't even shut her the fuck up. All right. How many times a lot of you guys done went on these dates and the woman was quiet? And by the third or fourth date, you couldn't shut the bitch up. All right. Because she was downplaying her. She knew she probably had a strong personality. And so therefore she was trying to get you can only hide who you is for so long. So long. Before the real you come out. And when you see a lot of these women that put foot in their mouth, they talk too fucking much and shit like that. If you keep dating them, you'll see the true, they true colors come out. All right? So that's the thing with that, guys. If you see a woman and you think she's shy that you're not dating or whatever and you wonder if you should approach her or whatever. If a woman look at you and look away <clears throat> uh, and look like in disgust or look down or get on the phone or something like that, guys, that's not shy. That's no interest. All right? That's, that, that, like... When a woman choosing you, she'll give you a, a split second glance. Like it's it's not gonna be all day. It's like boom, and it's like bloom. When a woman is not interested, she'll look at you and then quickly turn her head. All right, won't smile, turn away. Just quickly turn her head. It's a difference. Y'all guys gotta learn how to decipher the difference. All right. The number one thing with that is they'll look down. All right. I don't know if they're trying to keep their throw up from coming out of their mouth. Well, the fuck it is. You'll notice a lot of times they look down. That's not shy, guys. That's no interest. And if and the next one would be if she has, if you're on a date and you're thinking like she's shy, she's shy, she's shy, be patient, my friend. Her true colors will be out very, very soon. More than likely when you see these women, give them time. Watch, watch what you get three, four weeks from now. Watch what you watch as she get more and more comfortable with you. Watch how you start seeing. And I guarantee you, whatever it is, most times you won't like it. That's why she's shutting the fuck up. Alright? She knows she got a strong personality and she figured the best thing to do is shut the fuck up. Alright? So be on the lookout for that, guys, when y'all date shy women. Alright? If you date shy women. Just be prepared that down the road, she might be a fucking headache. All right, guys. All right, guys. <clears throat> so that's it, guys. All right. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holler back.